All right, all right. Real talk, real talk video. Hope everybody's doing well and God bless you. As you can see my little title for the night, when will it be about your children? When will it be about your children instead of you? And don't they deserve to be treated right? Now I'm not doing this video to make nobody mad, black women. No, trust me, I'm not doing this to make nobody mad. But when I was delivering the day, you know, these two women was fussing so hard. And I couldn't help but to hear it because I'm the one going back and forth, dropping the food off. And what it was is that it was the one black woman who was just getting all the government assistance, Section A. You know, she was bragging about her stuff. See, let me say it like this. Because it's a lot of hatred between women, black women with this. A black woman with three kids going to work. And she's working her butt off. She's working hard. And sometime over time, she is hating the one with the six kids who is doing nothing but getting the welfare check. But not all women are like this. But this is what the argument was today. And she told her to stop having all them babies and close up your legs because she said, that's not cute for a woman. And like I said, I kept passing back and forth. Couldn't help but to keep her in the conversation because I had to deliver some food upstairs. So they just downstairs, I mean, just going at it. And I sat back and I thought about how long are we going to keep acting like this? How long is it going to be black woman versus black woman? But she did. She told her to close up your legs. And that's another reason why so many black women stay in tour with each other because it's the one that's just getting all the welfare checks. Sometimes they like to throw it up in the other woman's face. But like I say, but not all do this. And I know this is an unusual type of video. And I remember the other day, two men was arguing. Uh, it was in a deep conversation, and one brother told the other, black people always want credit of what they supposed to be doing. Like this one brother, man, I, you know what I'm saying? I take care of my kids. I do this, I do that. And the other brother told him, why you want an extra hand clap for that? He said, you supposed to take care of your kids. You are their father. You supposed to do things for them. You supposed to love them. Stop acting like that's you like you need another hand clap for that. And I was like, wow. You know, he's telling the truth. We supposed to do what a man supposed to do. But when I kept seeing these women arguing about this, and I see this all the time, hating on each other, and, and I feel both of the women from both of their points, but at the same time, y'all know me, I stand on the truth. Because if you make your bed, you got to lie in it. That's for women and men. The woman that was on the welfare was just throwing it all up in that other woman's face to the point where it pissed her off. And she said, I don't have to work, Trick. She said, they pay my rent. You know how we, these sisters, they like to get their heads and I pay my rent. They pay my rent or I get that child support check. My rent is cheap. You just mad because you, you ain't balling like me. An old girl told her, what you gonna do when them kids get grown? When they turn 18, she said, we're going to see how bad you're going to be balling. She said, you call that balling and you falling. And once again, I'm just right there going back and forth in the middle. And I see the other reason she was so mad at the one on Section 8, the welfare, because when her baby daddy pays his child support, she don't do nothing for the baby. She take that baby daddy's check and she buy everything for herself. The kids don't never have nothing to eat. Same old clothes on. Shoes got holes in them. And as I was just right there going up, taking my last load, she said, brother. I said, oh, Lord, they finna put me in it. She said, what do you think about this? Coming from a, a black man, a strong black man point of view, don't you hate sisters like this? I said, first of all, I don't hate nobody. And I say, second of all, that's y'all business. She said, but who is right? You've been walking back and forth. We out here talking loud. She said, which one of us is right? And I looked at both of them in their eyes and I said, the child is right. When will it ever be about the children? Hmm. 
They didn't like my answer, and I kept walking. I said, y'all have a blessed day. So many women trying to ball like this, and it's sad. And the men, oh, Lord, we ain't even no better. Some of us just need a good old-fashioned whooping. It won't work. Won't do nothing. But keep on having baby after baby after baby. Won't even try to find a job. But I always can support habits. Ain't that something? I know I done made a lot of people mad this video, but I don't care. Can't get no job, not even trying, but I always crease down, looking good. Got the best clothes, expensive clothes, but ain't doing nothing for your child, your son, your daughter. But the first one in the club, the first one high, the first one drunk, will it ever stop? So that's why I wanted to title this video, When Will It Ever Be About the Children? It's called Child Support Check, not Taisha Check. And I could feel that lady with that because she was, the other lady, she was working hard. And she just hated that the fact she was, the other woman was throwing it up in her face. Let me tell you something, down here in Dallas, it's some now, it's some beautiful Section A homes. Some of them, I don't even know they Section A. They so, they nice, four bedroom, five bedroom, they look good. But to throw that in somebody else's face, it's a lot of women out here that do that. I done seen it with my own eyes. I got a few of them in my family. I know, <laughs> excuse me, I know how they act. And this is why I always say you make your bed, lie in it. But each of us is responsible for our own actions. It's the child that's hurting the hardest. It's the child that's suffering because they steady got to look at you act a fool. And see, there's too many young women Teenagers having babies, babies having babies. You haven't even lived your life yet. Don't even know how to take care of a baby. And we just living in a sad day time. When will it ever be about the children? God bless you and God keep you. Peace.